Happy Monday, Legends. Welcome back to another Jeff Ed session. And we are Mule Prep Monday. Standard slot every Monday. Get it started and show you a couple of things in the kitchen, give you some ideas, prep for your week ahead because that's how you get success. And so we're going to talk through all things snacks today. Um, how to prep ahead for some snacking, what you should be looking for with portions, and I'm going to show you a nice quick example or two. And we are going to whip up a quick and delicious edamame dip. And um, so looking forward to that one. I'll run you through what I'm doing and how it all looks once uh, everyone's in. So check in, let me know you're here, say hi, um, let me know how your weekend was. Hopefully, hopefully you guys took a little bit of a one and a half days that we spoke about on Friday in our Jeff Ed session and, and put it into practice, had a chance to give it a go. Um, so let me know, how was your weekend? What's happened? We were moving house, so I am in another kitchen today, um, not in my kitchen. Uh, it's a mess, so we, we've been jumping through hoops all weekend to try and get our move done, but it's been a little bit of a nightmare. And so I'm squatting. And I'll be bouncing around between a few kitchens this week. On Wednesday, I'll be in another one with a special guest. And on Friday, we'll have tea together and we're going to talk all things calories with our next Jeff Ed. And hopefully, in the not too distant future, I'll have a workable kitchen again. That will be my own. Um, cool. So say hi, guys. Um, Liza, Croft Chef. Jesus, I've been upgraded. Um, how are you doing, Liza? I hope you had a great weekend. Kim Kirkley, hello. Michelle Rogers, hi. Nicole Larish, hello. Sarah Salfi, Jolene Fenter, everyone checking in, collecting their dots. Um, last day of August, put it on the board. Tomorrow is spring, even though it doesn't feel like it. Um, it is freezing cold in Cape Town, and I'm sure the rest of you as well have been hit by the front all over the country. Ava Hermans, good afternoon. Um, correct. I don't know if I've said good morning. If I did, I apologize. It's after 12. Um, Bronwyn, hi there. Kath Hermans, hello. Uh, Jenny Bleeker Taylor, uh, happy Monday to you too. Uh, Joy Johnson started her one on one today. Fantastic. We have a nice big whack of starters today. Everyone taking control, getting some discipline. Um, joined up to the one on one program with where your fantastic coaches are across the board. And I hope you got a week off to a good start. Hit the ground running. And we're going to build into that with our Jeff Ed today. Um, Lydia's here too, and excited to learn a few things, which is cool. Michael Simpkins, hello. Kim Woodburn. Um, Catherine's watching from her car. Maybe you're not driving, yeah. Um, pull over. Um, Lynette's here for a live session. Fantastic. Uh, Laura, hello. Nicole, how's it going? Um, amazing post and story over the weekend from Nicole and her progress. Um, special story to watch. You are absolutely smashing it. Um, Minnie, hello. And she says hello to everyone else. Um, Pippa Leslie, how's it going? Hayley Jane, happy Monday to you too. Um, Liza was back running on the mountain. Fantastic. Did you get up to the top? Um, I saw the pictures, the videos of that snow coming through and I was very jealous that We've been moving house instead of on top of the mountain. It would have been a, quite a special moment to be up there. Um, Andrea, hello from Glasgow. Nice. Um, Janet and Paul. Khabibi and Paquette. We're all over the place. Um, Kelly Hart, starting work tomorrow. So doing meal prep today. Fantastic. Um, lucky to start on a Tuesday as well. Um, all right. Yes, Astrid, Cape Town is icy cold. Um, cool, so not to take too long, um, what we're going to do is we're going to be talking things, snacks, um, and I prefer to do something in the background with my edamame beans. So for the edamame dip, um, you'll see in the side here what's all going to go into it. My empty bowl, I need to go put the edamame in, they're just boiling quickly in the back there for five minutes just to cook them through in some salted water. Um, then I've got some garlic and chili paste. One of my favorite ingredients, some miso paste. Um, lovely flavor out of that. Uh, it's a nice fermented product, so you get a little bit of goodness from probiotics and things in there as well. And it goes with so many things. 
you get that smell of like soya sauce and the saltiness and savoriness it's fantastic i really i can put that on so much um which is lovely got some spring onions got a little bit of lemon juice and you can do coriander or parsley um i know everyone's kind of one side of the fence you don't sit on the fence with coriander you love it or you hate it so if you don't like coriander pop some parsley in here and uh, it's going to be a lovely green dip and then just salt pepper and olive oil okay so um my edamame we just built boiling for a few minutes before we blend them just in some water so there they are lovely and green and i'm just going to run it through some cold water so that they don't destroy the blender just now yeah and those can cool while we talk Right, easy. So I'm gonna get onto that after we've chatted about some snacking. And firstly, just sort of the basics behind it and how you wanna sort of think about it. Um, so what we've got here, and um, it's kind of the mantra that I always use, and you would have heard me speak about it before, and the meals and everything, and we're thinking about our meals, portion control, very important. But the three components, protein, fiber, and fat. Right, those are the three things that are gonna make a balanced meal and similarly a balanced snack. So we want mindful snacking and we wanna make it a purpose. If you're on our one-on-one -on -one program, you'll see it's a combination, more of a, a mini meal, an opportunity to nourish as opposed to just being a, you know, a mindful thing that is either driven by boredom or habit or some other reason. So make sure your snacking is with a purpose and the three things we wanna combine are protein, fiber and fat and um, you might not always have the fat components it just depends on your on your goals but protein and fiber i think should always be part of your meals part of your snack okay the fiber you then get to choose between whether you want it slightly lower energy lower carb or slightly higher energy higher carb All right, so you get the flexibility based on your goals if you're looking to lose weight you'll go with sort of lower carbohydrate fiber sources and if not if you're looking for maintenance or it's around exercise or you're looking to pick up weight or whatever it is, you might use a higher carbohydrate fiber. So I'll show you some examples of how we do that. What I like to do with snacks, planning, prepping for the week ahead. All right, so got a couple of containers, pink for my protein, um, green and off green <laughs> for, my, for my fiber and blue, for my fat. So I've just got three little containers. They're about palm size. Okay, you often hear me talking about portion control and using the hand in your palm. It's going to come sort of quite important in a bit. And um, we'll look through that. You could also get a nice sort of three container, three compartment sort of glass container, which would be great, better for the environment. And um, we're moving, I've only got plastic on hand. And um, so that would be cool, sort of three separate components, and you can always. Put your things in there and know right well what i need have i got my protein food have i got my fiber have i got my fat so you can look at it that way and um, i've just got three separate containers because that's what i'm doing so what you'll always do you're always going to start with some protein okay the what i'm going to do in a bit is the edamame dip fantastic plant-based protein nice high protein bean which is fantastic um, and that's going to go into one of these um, another example you can pop anything in here. So um, I've got some, what do I have here? I've got some built on. Let me put on that one there. There we go. Okay. Uh, you could do built on, you could do some nice lean kudu drill horse, you could do some yogurt, uh, you could make a sort of flavored yogurt dip as opposed to like the edamame one I'm doing, something along the tzatziki line, um, something that is protein driven. You could do your cottage cheese. Um, some boiled eggs, a little bit of chicken, some smoked salmon, some anything like that. Options, long list. Okay. Make sure you've got a protein source and use your palm. Okay. And um, if you're on our one on one program, you've got a specific portion that you need. If you're not, and just looking to kind of control this, and how we're going to go about it is a palm of protein, a palm of fiber, and a thumb of fat. Easy way to control portions, your hands always on you, nice simple way. So I've got a palm size of built on, it goes into my one container, 
Okay. And you can, if you're happy with that and happy having the same snack all week, put out five of those. It's not going to go frot, there's nothing wrong with it. If you want to vary it up and you do one of yogurts for Monday, one of Biltong for Tuesday, and you want some eggs on Wednesday, you want the edamame dip on Thursday, whatever it is, get five of those together if you want to do the whole week, or do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and on Wednesday just put a bit of time aside to put together your last two days of snacks. So you always have a protein. Okay, and then our father choice. And um, what we've got here, a few different things. So father, you could do some fruit. Okay, so I've got two sort of options in that bowl there. And um, blueberries, which are lower carbohydrates, packed with goodness and nutrition. Um, and then some dried fruits, which is our um, dried mango, which is much denser. So if you need a little bit more energy, you'd go along that sort of route. Um, but otherwise berries are fantastic and um, nice sort of low carb version. Similarly, you could do some sugar snaps or munch twos like I've got there or some celery or some cucumber. Those make very good vessels to dip um, or some carrots, which are slightly higher in carbohydrate. So those are sort of options of fiber. You could also do some rice cakes or some provita or some whole wheat crackers. Um, again, if you need the carbohydrate source in there and um, so fruit, grain or starchy vegetable or non-starchy vegetable depending on what carbohydrate content you want those are going to make up your fiber okay so in my one i'm going to stick some munch two okay palm size boom done super easy um some blueberries would actually go quite nicely as a snack with um the uh, built on now sort of freshness to it um i'll get to the other one in a bit and then fat that's only a thumb so you can actually if you want to get smaller containers for your fat com uh, components so that might be nuts and seeds it might be some nut butter it could be some avocado it could be some cheese and those are all decent sources of fat and um, i've got mixed nuts and seeds here okay so all I want is about a thumb size, which is a tablespoon. Okay. Which is about that. Let's look. Where's my camera? There we go. Thumb size. All right. So what I know is I can put, put those aside and boom, I'm sorted. Protein, fiber, fat. And that's one. Plan them, put them together, and you're kind of done, ready to go. All right. Um, simple. That's the basis of snacking. Um, make sure you've got those components. If you need to keep it a little bit leaner, you're following something that's lower fat, drop the fat. You've got your protein and fiber instead. Um, but you want something that's more sort of complete and balanced as opposed to just grazing on various things through the day. Snack with intent. You don't need to snack. On our one-on-one -on -one programs, you've typically got three meals and one floating snack in a day that and why we've called it that is you can use it at any point let your hunger guide you we chatted about that on friday um, using and tapping into that hunger as a cue to when you should eat um, and there might be days you don't feel like it if your three meals are good enough to kind of see you through that's gold and um, otherwise use that snack mid-morning mid-afternoon and um, if it prevents a worse behavior later in the day it's also good so if you're going to lunch too hungry or if you're going to dinner too hungry and end up overeating, um, a snack might have helped put that at bay and keep your daily intake in check. Um, so it's it's kind of a, um, a regulating tool um, to use that snacking as well. All right. Um, and catch up on some comments and then we're going to get into the edamame. Um, Kabibi says she has too many snack events. Exactly. So, if they're not mindful and if they're not with a purpose or intent, um, we might not be needing them. So we snack for all sorts of reasons, emotions, habits, because you know it's tea time, fake, it's just time, it's a random time, and we think that we need something to eat. We dehydrate it and our body misconstrues that as hunger when it's actually dehydration. So um, you know, some water, a cup of tea, something like that often puts it at bay. And that's purely because you were dehydrated and you thought it was low blood sugar and I'm angry, but it was actually just needing some more fluid. Um, Tanya, hello. Molly's loving that dip. We're going to get into that now. 
Uh, edamame beans, I got mine at Woolies today, so they've got fresh and frozen ones. Um, so they'll either be in the fresh near the beans and green stuff um, or frozen. Um, so just have a look. Um, Nicole, yes, Catherine's spot on the side of the road. Good. Um, Sandine, blueberries and biltong. Good snack. Fantastic. Um, Deborah, are there any, apart from blueberries, other good low carb fruit options? Anything that's got a high fluid content is normally going to be quite low carb, particularly when you're doing this palm size portion. So things like melon, that always get a bad rap, you know, even watermelon because they're high GI, but you actually have to eat a shed load of the stuff um, to get much carbohydrate out of it. So melons are pretty good. Any of your berries are sort of quite nice and low, um, so those are all fine. Um, I'd be looking at those now, we're going into season with them, they should be coming in, which is, which is great. So high fluid content, typically low carbohydrate when you control your portions. Um, Lisa Janssen Rensberg, thumb size of ever, yeah. So fat, thumb size. You might, if you need more energy, go to two thumbs. So bigger people, more active people, two thumbs of, of a fat component in a meal. Um, otherwise, one should sort you out. Easy way to go wrong because fat rich foods are so dense, nuts and that butter and avocado, they're good for us, but we need to get our portions right. right. Um, Molly says the dried mango really helps with sweet craving. Good, you get some fiber from it, so better than you know some chocolate or something, but be careful with portions because essentially all that's there is just a lot of carbohydrate. It's very sort of um, dense in energy, so we just need to be mindful of our portions when we're using that. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do quickly is put together our edamame dip. Okay, so I've just got my Nutribullet container. Okay, pop this in here, let's put in this. And my pre cooked edamame beans. Okay, so that's what they look like. Just a little bit of salted water, cooked for five minutes. Um, lovely. It's about two cups. If it all fits in here. Perfect. Okay, lovely. Then a little handful of coriander or parsley. I'm just chucking in stems and stalks and everything because I don't really mind. Um, Right, we've got some um, knife. You can use some spring onion or you can use normal onion. Um, if you're using sort of white or red onion, I'd maybe just put it in a bit of boiling water for five minutes um, just to take off the sort of edge. Um, but with these spring onions, they're cool to go, salad onions, whatever. Um, I've got sort of a just a small handful of those. Okay. A teaspoon of chili paste or chili and garlic paste. Okay, if you don't like chili, that's fine, leave it out. But other thing that you can use a bit of the garlic, I think, has to go in there. Um, otherwise, sriracha would be very nice. And um, so instead of chili, you could get the a sriracha sauce that would be quite nice in there. And then a good squeeze of the lemon. You want that acid in there just to balance everything out. There's quite a bit of sort of salt, uh, a little bit of tang and heat. Um, so everything always tastes better with acid. So vinegars and lemon juice, and um, you'll be amazed how many dishes just once you finish with them, a little bit of acid in there is going to change again. And miso, we're going to have a tablespoon or about two heat teaspoons. Okay, that's that. Lovely. I'm not going to season, season with any salt now because the miso is quite salty. So at the end, if it needs a little bit, that's cool. Just a little bit of pepper. Okay. And then some olive oil. So we're going to get a good sort of four portions out here. So we will get a little bit of fat in here. And um, obviously when we're using a, a vegetable as a protein, 
it's lean, so there's no fat. If you're using chicken or um, beef or something, you've always got a fat component. So to balance it out when you're using a vegetable protein, there's a bit of room for some fat in there. So I'm using olive oil for that. And just going to bang that on. See, it's all in there. All the goodness. Lovely. Okay. Excuse the noise. Okay. Just using a food processor, just slide it down the side. Give it a stir around so all the stuff, all the chunky things get to the bottom. Yeah. And we're done. You can leave it as kind of chunky as you want. That's not... Okay, you're going to get a little bit of red from the chili, which is fantastic. You should smell that miso. Delicious. Okay. And just spoon it out, palm size, into your meal prep vessel. Okay. And that's my dip. Um, I'm going to put it on a little carrots would go nicely with that. We've got to test it. Very nice balance of, you get that salt, it doesn't need any salt from the miso because it's quite salty. That lemon juice gives it nice freshness. You've got the fiber in there, you've got the protein, it just tastes like it's going to be nice and satisfying and full. And that'll last about five days. So if you do one of those, you've got, you know, for most of your snacks in a week, put them in your little containers and, and it's cool. Um, super simple, super easy, and a nice alternative to perhaps using you know, chickpeas if you're a hummus fan, and just varying it up slightly. Hummus can be quite high in fat just because of the tahini and things that get added, plus the oil and whatever. This is a little bit leaner, we just controlled our fat content in it. You made it yourself in two minutes, it's done, super simple, super easy. You can vary the beans up as well if you want to, you can play around with some different things. You know, peas would still work doing that, and um, maybe with some mint as a slightly different flavor, and um, obviously the chickpeas and the hummus, and you just play around with it yourself. Um, but any bean or sort of uh, legume like that gives you nice hits of protein, and you actually get some added fiber in it as well. So when we're thinking about all our value, all there. Um, so super simple. Um, what do you guys think? How easy was that? Let's catch up with you guys quickly. Um, Jolene studying in the early hours. What's the best to snack? Because it's too early for breakfast, but I uh, feel hungry. Why is it too early for breakfast? Um, just eat when your body needs it. So if you're eating that a little bit earlier and you have a smaller sort of mid-morning snack, that's fine. Or if your breakfast is more of a snack portion, that's fine. When we're waking up, the best thing to give the body is a bit of protein and carbohydrate. We're primed to use it. That's what we need. Top, tops up a little bit from you know what we slept off um, and in terms of like circadian rhythms and sleep wake cycles and things um, a little bit of carbohydrate in the morning is going to help that we balance it out with some protein and if it's a snack version instead of a full breakfast that's totally cool but there's nothing wrong with eating breakfast early um, Nicole tells what coach Jay tells you to rain in your ever yes um, Foods that are good for us, some of them still just need to be controlled with portions. Um, Leslie, hello. Nice to see you there. Um, snacking in when it's cold is definitely one of those things. So um, being mindful of it, making sure, and again, it's a, it's a conversation I had earlier today, but quite often it's dehydration. Because it's colder, our fluid intake drops um, and our hydration levels are sort of lower than normal and the body sends some signals saying, you know, something's going on here and you think, oh, I'm hungry, but it's actually not. So first thing, always make sure that it's um, you've covered your, your fluids. Kabibi says built on and pineapple together. So hummus, so it is a protein, but it can be quite high fat. It just depends how it's made. If you've made your own and you've controlled it, the chickpeas are a good source of protein. 
um, so they're fantastic. We've, uh, there's a recipe for the um, roasted chickpeas, which is a nice another way to get some good sort of plant-based protein into your snack options. Um, Astrid wants to know with cheese, what's best? So cottage cheese we normally use as a, as a protein, so low-fat cottage cheese um, and ricotta are good protein sources. And when we're using cheese for a fat, if you're sticking with your portions, you know, they're all kind of much of a muchness. So if you're sticking with that thumb size, don't worry so much. Choose the one that you enjoy um, instead of worrying sort of too much, too much about it. And Michelle, best crackers to eat? Um, something that's got some fiber in it, so a whole grain or a, something that's got some seeds in it um, would, be, would be good. Um, it doesn't, you know, again, if we're getting our portions right, it's, it's okay either way. Um, the higher fiber versions, so, you know, if you just have a rice cake compared to whole wheat provita, there's hardly any difference. It is higher fiber, but um, in terms of how much you're having, you know, it's not going to make a, a major, major difference. Um, yes, hummus is lovely. Um, Addison, hello. Never too late. Thanks for pulling in. Um, Risha wants to know 100 grams of banana as a snack just before a workout. So banana, one of the best options for sort of pre-workouts. It digests nice and quickly. Um, a good sort of carbohydrates, which is what we're looking for before training. So perfectly fine. Nice little top up, 100 grams. You're going to get about 15 or 20 grams of carbs. Um, you'll burn them off pretty quickly. You must probably get better quality out of your session. Um, so it's perfectly good option. So a little bit of fuel and have that with some fluid and you go. Um, Sally, how much olive oil did you add? I added three tablespoons um, to that. You can play around with it to kind of get to the texture that you that you want. Um, leave a little bit of the cooking water. So if you're, if you're um, edamame beans, so just have a little bit of liquid in them. You'll get a, a better consistency so you don't have to add as much oil. All right. Um, Minnie, glad to hear it. Please try it and post it for us. Um, Jolene's going to try it. Fantastic. That's what I like to hear. Um, yeah, Michelle, tzatziki would also be good. So you can make your own. You know, get some cucumber, get some mint, get some yogurt. Boom, you've got a nice protein rich dip for it. So uh, a bit of lemon juice and you super. All right. um, Kim, if you don't have miso paste, you can use a little bit of soy sauce. It's That flavor is going to be in there, which is nice. Um, so you can do that instead. Um, all right, Kabibi's going to look for some edamame tomorrow. Tanya's salivating, which is fantastic. Um, Lynette, it's only a pleasure. Um, Laura can virtually taste this uh, with some zoodle. So you'd be able to use this in different ways as well. So, yeah, like a little sauce for something, you can just get a bit more liquid into there and thin it out slightly. It'll go a little bit further. Um, nice sort of alternative to a guacamole. So you've got a protein and fiber based thing instead of fat. So swapping your avo for like an edamame dip is a nice way to go. All right. Um, Lynette, how about peanut butter and a rice cake as a snack? No sugar added. So yeah, if you want, there you're just missing out on some protein. So your rice cake, you've got some carbohydrate. Your peanut butter is your fat source. So it's not the perfectly balanced snack because we're just missing a protein component on it. So um, I'd either add that or sub it out for just depending on your on your goals as well. Right. Um, Michelle's going to try it as well. Fantastic. Cool. Super simple, guys. Um, so easy. Hopefully just gives you a bit of an idea, of something that's not standard, but it's you know, packed with flavor, good source of protein. And then on the snacking side, give you some things to kind of think about how to build your snacks for the week and how to use your hand to quickly portion things and then keep that with you. Put things in place on a Monday or Sunday and get things, get things together so that your snacks are always mindful, you've planned them. If you write out your meals for the week and do a little meal plan so that you know kind of what you want to do, what you need to shop and how you can maybe carry some leftovers from the night before over to your snack the next day if you've got particularly on the protein side, a bit of chicken or mince or something left over from dinner and that can serve your, your snack and um, any of the vegetables as well. Things that are really prepped, just going to make your life much easier. Portion it out and put it aside. 
and that's kind of three quarters of the challenge one um, so you'll be good to go after that okay michelle just last couple of questions before we sign off uh, cold meats and snacks turkey chicken and ham cool so just stay away from the very processed stuff obviously um you know pink meats and polonies and things aren't aren't great but if it's just a shaved piece of meat nothing wrong with it so um those are perfectly fine as well um kim's going to look for miso but in case you can't find it so that soy sauce will work as well and um, it's just not a fermented food so it's a nice way for us to get some fermented foods in our diet as a bit of miso paste um, and it's just got a different layer of flavor compared to obviously normal soy sauce made from the same thing essentially but just slightly different um mayuri uh, dried peaches is a snack yeah so dried fruits all cool as a food but because anything that's dried the fluid's gone and then you, the energy density just ramps up portion control is is critical so instead of like the palm size you might go to half a palm because it's you know much more dense so like you see with my equivalent here of a couple pieces of dried mango or a nice big bowl of fresh berries and up to you so you'll get much more volume from the one it's more likely to fill you a little bit more um, but if you really feel like the other one is cool just slightly smaller portion okay um greg yes steak i don't know what you're applying to there um but good protein source um catherine question for raf uh, rice paper smaller bigger one what do they count as so they starch so if you remember we did the rice paper rolls a few weeks back and um, the wrappers and um, which were cool we had uh, i can't quite remember four or five of those sort of adding up to a starch on the one-on-one -on -one program and um, but that would be the starch component so in here they would be your father okay higher carbohydrate father um chris only a pleasure and annette's cheers for now jeff family so on that note and um, guys as always it's been a pleasure and um, nice quick and easy monday meal prep session uh, i've got another one another cool one lined up next week and essentially every week after that and um, if there anything you really want to sort of see and um, have me put together some ideas or anything that you you want some advice on please drop us a line um, on wednesday we've got our jeff cook uh, which is going to be loads of fun we've got our low carbonara which is going to be cool and then on friday we're talking all things calories calories in calories out weight loss weight gain all that sort of thing so it should be a nice chat on friday looking forward to it guys have a fantastic monday try keep warm and keep hydrated plan prep and succeed cheers guys till next time bye bye